Hobbies, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new reversible ESCs that are coming soon as well as like a basic setup and the radio so let's get to it okay so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into your throttle cut you're going to want to set a throttle cut on there and the position is actually going to be zero it's not going to be the normal negative 130 on what you see with regular spectrum uh, initial throttle cut settings so just make sure that's at zero Okay, so now going into the throttle curve, um, I usually have a two position switch, uh, mine's on switch A. Um, this is because I like to have a normal throttle curve. This is for just, uh, it's gonna feel like an, a regular airplane. Like I said, anything below 50%, you're going to, um, the ES, or the motor's gonna wanna spin the other way. So on one, you're gonna want 50% for just like a dead, a dead stop, 56, 62, 75, 100 for like a smooth transition into your throttle curve like a normal airplane. Um, going into curve one, this is going to be our, uh, this is going to be for reverse thrust. It's actually just going to be the regular 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. So right around 50 in the, um, at the center point, like right around there, the motor's actually not going to spin at all. Um, that's where, that's going to be like its dead point. Um, anything below, it's going to spin the opposite direction. It's actually going to spin uh, clockwise if you're facing the prop or if you're facing the plane uh, nose on. Um, and then anything above 50, it's just going to spin counterclockwise like a normal plane if you're looking at it head on. So like I said, uh, throttle cut is on. That's the switch that I use. Um, you notice it's not going to do anything. Um, now whenever I take it off, make sure my switch is down in the normal curve. It's going to be like a normal plane. So, you know. And then now whenever you flip into your other, let me put on throttle cut. I'm going to go to 50% because that's actually a dead zone. I'm going to flip into my other throttle curve. You notice how it doesn't spin up. Um, I'm off throttle cut right now. Now this is where you can actually um, activate reverse thrust. So anything below, it's going to want to push backwards like that. Anything above 50%, it's going to want to push forward. But you can notice it's a super fast transition. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helped as far as setups. Uh, keep an eye out for some videos of the CSC in action, so keep it twisted. <laughs>